Hey, Glenn Felsing with Sotheby's International Realty. Just a quick note on park installs and how they correlate to resale value. I've had the question from a few people lately um, saying that they only want to look at properties that, that come with a park install, so when they sell it down the road, it's going to be easier to sell. Um, now, a couple of those people, I mean, if you have a car then and you don't want to get rid of the car, then I completely understand that. But if you don't have a car, then don't pay for a park install, especially if the price of the property, you know, downtown Vancouver and, you know, surrounding areas, um, surrounding neighborhoods, I should say, um, you know, under half a million dollars, I wouldn't be too concerned about uh, having a park install um, for resale value. If you jump over half a million dollars, $600,000, then I think the property should have, it should offer something kind of unique, whether it's a location or whether there's something special about the building or whether the actual unit has something very special, like you know, a really cool balcony or an awesome view or uh, even a rooftop deck or, or something like that. But anything below half a million bucks, I mean, so many of us nowadays, I mean, you know, we, we live very close to where we work, you know, transit's getting better around here. And then there's just, you know, how many car share programs are there out there? So I think that a lot of us and a lot of people out there are gravitating towards getting rid of the car. So if you don't have a car, don't worry about a parking stall and, uh, and I think you'll be fine. Have a great day.